Well, Glenn Hodge, it's not a bad time for Terrell Thomas to get his first ever AFC Wimbledon goal. What were your thoughts? Well, I didn't know that. Um, as obviously he was here before I came, so that's a shock, really, because he's uh, obviously he can head the ball. And he, um, in fact, yesterday in training, he headed the ball for the wrong part of his head and thought he had concussion. So perhaps that might be the way forward on a Friday. But uh, you know, he, he's uh, it's nice that uh, Ryan scored last week centre half. Now you got another centre half scoring, so the pressure's on PK. But uh, and Will when he comes back in, but it's it's, it's, it's long overdue. So. You know, it's, it's timely as well, so thank you for that. It's, it's, a, it's a great, great goal. Nine points from our last three now, and a clean sheet as well today. That must please you very much as well. For me, that's the best performance. That's, we weren't at our best, and obviously they're very good, so it's hard to play against a Pompey side, and they caused us problems and kept the ball well, uh, and they got they got quality all over the park. But to stay in the game with, as I say, the three centre-halves and the goalkeeper, the highlight particularly, putting their head in the way and blocking and, and getting their bodies there and stopping crosses, it was it was great. And, and we, we were probably resilient at half time you know just just uh, you've got you got a foothold in the game you keep in the game then there's always a little bit of quality and it could win you the game which is what Max did Max put a great ball in uh, and it was there it was, it was uh, he, I say he couldn't have missed but he was on the plate for him and he, he put it away well what can you say about the work rate of the squad in recent weeks and how they've turned this around in three games yeah, no, it's brilliant. They, they've uh, obviously yeah, they've got some key players back, and uh, and again the win, the win, and I think you know, the Orient game really um, was a was a, a good a good win back to back wins has been the platform for this. But you know you can't play well all the time, and uh, and maybe maybe if you don't play well you sort of stay in the game. And the one 0 win and the, you know, like we did today is uh, is the most pleasing one of, of all. Does Scott Wagstaff perhaps typify the work rate that we're getting through at the moment? Yeah, I think they all, I think they all are. Though. You can you can look at more. I mean, you know, they they they're giving their all and uh, and they're asking. You know, they're doing stuff that we're asking. They set up and it, and it's it's uh, it, it's going well and, and and they're enjoying it. So training this week's been great. I woke up this morning quite confident that you know we could we could get something. Um, I didn't want to really leave it quite so late, but sometimes it's late is the best time to score. Life has a way of turning things around. Of course, we remember Ipswich and Coventry, and it feels so much sweeter now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, we've been we've been in games. That's the thing. We've been in games, and, and it's, you know, it's it's, uh, it's been coming, like I say, and and losing games sometimes is a bit of a habit, and you're a bit down. And now all of a sudden, hopefully, you know, we, we're in that winning habit, and all may it continue. We've got a big one at Bolt at Burton, sorry, on Tuesday. Then we've got a little break. Uh, and hopefully we can finish off finish off a positive in midweek and have a well-deserved rest and uh, and come back all firing again against Lincoln. And you can see the whole package coming together. I mean, how we've been attacking recently, but now defensively we've got that in artillery as well. Yeah, yeah well, you, I mean, you play. You're not going to have it all your own way of attacking. We will we will have we will have more attacking options, and we will we will we will attack teams. But then you know you're playing. Anybody can beat anybody. Like the way they set up today. Uh, made it difficult for us, uh, and, and as, like I say, they've they got good players, and they've they, they got good players in key areas. So they're, they're in a false position, um, and uh, you know it was, it was a great win. You know, it's a big portion of that um, any time is a good win. How good is it as well for Nathan Trott going forward, having kept that clean sheet now? Yeah, well, it was all of them. I mean, I, I, I highlighted the three centre halves, and they thought the first half they were magnificent. The second half they carried it on, and that gives you the platform to to, to nick them goals, you know. And I mean, he, he looks, he makes things look so easy at times, and he, he just in, in like slow motion but calm and controlled. And he brings that calmness to the to the team. He's still got a lot to learn. There's still things that maybe you know we, he needs to sharpen up a little bit. But you know he's um, he's made he's, he's made some key saves today, and uh, and he's in the right place at the right time. And you know, he's been a big player for us, along with the three centre halves. And final word as well, just to say about young Jack Madeley, an academy prospect on yeah. the bench, young Welsh youngster as well, yeah, like yeah, yourself yeah. as well, once of course. Yeah. How good is that's why he's on there. <laughs> um, no, he's brilliant. I mean, I spoke to him yesterday and said, oh, you you're in the squad," and, and he's looking and he's a bit. I said, yeah, you can probably be on the bench. And I think he said to Rob, do I need my boots then? And am I going to join in the warm up? So I think he, he didn't expect it. It's nice, it's a nice surprise. It's uh, it's great for him, and he's been he's been doing well. He's doing well in the 18s, and to put him on there, and he's been in there before the game. He was like wide-eyed, sucking it all in, and having a look around, seeing it. And then to win like that manner, and the place is buzzing in there. You can imagine with the music blaring, and he's smiling. He's smiling. It's just uh, it's great for him, and hopefully, you know. He, uh, he has a few more and, and has a long career because there's some good kids at this, this this club and hopefully it breaks in soon. Glenn, I think there's a well-deserved beer waiting for you. Yeah, don't worry, it's, uh, it's getting cold now. <laughs> uh, sorry, warm. Sorry. Thanks, Glenn. Okay.